Hello and welcome to a lazy Sunday. Cheers. So this is a little taster from the keg of my Dortmund export that's just been kegged 20 minutes ago. So it's been cold crashing for four or five days now. So I kegged it, got it into the keyser, and conditioned it from there. So we'll uh, obviously it didn't come out as clear as I was hoping, but they would expect with Nova Lager yeast. May come out clearer in another week or so. So let's see what it's like. There is a fruitiness there, an initial fruitiness. Um, a bit of spice. Obviously, it's Tetnan and I think it's Tetnan and Mittelfru. But I know it's Tetnan and Hezbrucker. Nearly got that wrong. And it's quite dry. A reasonable bitterness. I mean, this is, as I said, this is very, very green. So, nowhere near ready. Got a little bit of carbonation in there, give it a bit of a shake, get it up and ready. So, I think that's going to be very good, very nice. So, I better pour myself a proper beer then now. And I still have the Citra and Mosaic Pale at 5% on tap, Citra APA 4.5% on tap, and Dortmund Export now 5.5% on tap. Nice mid range there. Beers. So I think I'll pour myself a Citra Apia. Don't want to get uh, too squiffy too early, as obviously today is England's first knockout stage match, which may be an absolute pile of dog excrement, or they may show what they're really made of. We don't know. Now, for those eagle-eyed of you, you may have noticed something in the background just over here. Yes, I have a raw water system. And not just any raw water system. This is one of the top dog ones. Oh, so let me get you there. Look at that beauty. Now, I have to say, a very, very, very big thank you to Stuart Prince, Tunk Delilah Brewery, Stewie Stewie, whatever you want to call him. Because he just sent me that. No money, nothing. Just sent me that. So, this one's for you, Matt. Um, yeah. So he sent me his uh, root water system. Uh, I believe he doesn't need to use it anymore. He can go down the road and get raw water as much as he wants, uh, any time really. And so, he sent me it. I don't know really what to say about that. It was just an amazing thing to do. And he's such a very generous guy. So again, thank you, Stewie. Um, you may also notice, got a sticker up. Don't delight a brewery, he sent me a few uh, bits of merch there. So I'm very pleased with that. Um, not as pleased as I am with this. I've got as far as I can with it for now. I've taken the first two cylinders apart, resealed them, Vaseline, um, flushed them through. Now I'm just waiting on some resin to do the third chamber. Uh, I'll leave the fourth chamber because apparently the membrane should be all right. Um, then we'll be good to go. Oh, and I'm waiting for some 15 mil pipe to connect from here out to the uh, water tap out there and then we're good to go so I think the first brew I'm going to do is a European lager I already had the recipe ready but now I've done it with the salts additions for real water so I'm really excited about that I'm just really excited about having this now I have to say it's just bursting with excitement for it so yeah I've got it all set up as much as I can. I've watched as many video, excuse me, as many videos and such. <coughs> oh, excuse me, that's quite gassy. That you wouldn't believe it, would you, with that kind of head on it? Um, yeah. So I've uh, done as much research as I can for now, but there's nothing better than actually getting in there and doing stuff, is there? That's the only real way to do it. So, yeah, 
very excited about that. So that they should come mid next week. So I should get the resin to replace the resin in the third chamber uh, and my piping so I can connect up. Then I've got a couple of uh, those water cubes. I bought them for doing um, no chill cubes and I never got, never used it, never did it. And they just sat in the shed. So I've got two of those, which would be good for collecting my raw water. Uh, wastewater's outside. I can just open this door, connect straight up to the tap, straight across. Wastewater just up there. Um, it's got one enough. I mean, this is a motorized one. And also with triple TDS monitor. So I can monitor absolutely everything. I'm still, I'm still st absolutely stoked. So I uh, got it yesterday and I've spent a lot of this morning trying to put sort it out, get it together uh, and kind of work on it because I was at work yesterday. Um, but yeah, I I'm really, really happy. Really, really happy as I'm sure anyone else would be having just received a road water thing when they've um, just out the blue like that. Anyway, again, cheers to you. So the Dortmund export is now on tap, but it, it, I'll leave it to condition because it really is, it really is green. There's a, yeah, it's, it's just a greenness about it. It just needs time, a bit of time, and um, should be good to go. Then we're on to the European lager, as I said, all from the, the Bible. All down the line, except using Nova Lager Yeast instead of, um, I think it's German Lager Yeast for both of them. So there, we have it. This, Citra Ape here, it's just lovely. It's going well, going very well. Now, I have now got three kegs on it and that is an amazing thing for me. And a lot of the reason for that is because I've been going out. Having beers in pubs and stuff. Jesus, it's expensive, isn't it? I mean, even in Whitby now, we're talking minimum five pound for a pint, whatever. Except weather spoons, of course. But even then, it's you're talking minimum three fifty uh, for whatever they've got on. Usually, like Doom Bar and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I've been going out, so I haven't been drinking at home as much. But now it's football. Got the World Cup, World Cup. I keep saying it's the fucking World Cup. We're even wearing a Brazilian shirt. Uh, we've got the uh, Euros, and England are into the knockout stages. And they've found that whoever wins this match faces Switzerland, which is a they punch way above their weight. They really do for the size of that country. They really do know how to punch above their weight. So if we get through to them, that should be a really good game. We'll probably get knocked out by them probably get knocked out today by Slovenia um, but there we go I don't think it's coming on but hopefully if England do well and Germany do well and they get to the final I can enjoy my Dortmund export on the final there it would be nice wouldn't it anything else to say um, no not really I as I say I, I did the brew for the export it was nearly a fortnight ago now I'm going to get this all cleaned up and um, back on uh, this star sand, get it star sand ready for the next brew. Um, I have everything I need already in, I just need to weigh it all out, which isn't a problem, I can do that on the brew day, but I will need to sort obviously, I need to wait to get the resin and the piping and then collect the water and then find it day when I'm off and the weather's fine. So that all these things have to conjoin for me to do it now. So hopefully at some point this coming week would be good. Maybe Thursday, who knows. So I don't really have much more to add to that um, other than to say cheers. Thanks for watching if you got this far. Um, hopefully I'll catch you in the next one.